Hey, baby girl. We got this blue here. Oh, Look my God. You. I got to put my phone. Uh, TV on mute. Oh, it's not on mute. I can hear you. Oh, your TV on mute. I'm sorry. Hi. What's your name? Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I made it. My name is Nish. Well, it's Tanisha. But Nish for short. Tanisha, where are you calling us from? North New Jersey. North New Jersey. Okay. You have any kids? Yes, I do. I have a son. He's 23. 23. Okay. How old are you, Tanisha? I'm 43. 43. God, I'm 43 in April. You look I am younger. A Sorry? I said you look younger. I do. I think you were 43. <laughs> yes, so, I just turned 43 in April. Taurus. Like Taurus you. Gang. Yes, Taurus gang. You ever been married, Tanisha? Never. Never. Um, Taurus, what do you do for a living? <clears throat> I'm a dispatcher. What kind of man are you looking for? Okay, I got a list. Hold on. Let me get my list now. Okay, so I'm looking for someone who is considerate, consistent, attentive, emotionally available, ready for a relationship, not insecure. I'm sorry, reliable, affectionate, loyal, and ready for love. Oh, ready for love. Here we go. <laughs> Shout out to her. She done broke out the Dead Sea Scrolls. All right, she 41. Not she don't ready for it. love. <laughs> like I said, she 41. She got a 23-year-old son. She don't look 41 at all. Give her that much. She don't. She, she don't. She, I, I put in a chat. I thought she was 43. She don't look bad for 40 at all. No. But she she led. I put respect on the bone creature that lead with the dancing scrolls, and she announced it. You gotta salute to her boldness. She said, uh -huh. "Wait a minute, Kendra. Before I utter another word, I have a list." <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and then she went on, and there you go. Some new thing. Who do be ready for love? This sounds like a, a dang high school musical. Come on, that bone question. Come on. There we go. Don't let her cook. Make sure y'all hitting the like button. Hit the cash app. Support the show. We cooking tonight. Here we go. All right. What's the deal breakers? Okay. So the deal breakers. Whew, small children. I can't do small children. I don't want to. Um, what, what, what's too young for you? I'm what sorry. What's the oldest the child has to be? 13. 13. Okay. So nothing under 13. Nothing under 13. Okay. I don't want to get attached because I've had that issue before. Um, I've dated someone that had multiple children and his youngest was eight and she got very emotionally detached. I mean, attached. And then we broke up and then it was just like, she was still contacting me afterwards, and I didn't want no relationship with her father anymore. So it was just like, it's hard to detach yourself. So I still, you know, spoke with her, and her father done moved on, got married and everything, and I just don't want that. So, you know. I understand. I understand. Okay, so nothing um, under 13. So also smokers. I am. Is that everything? Is that cigarettes, weed, or just what we? I can't deal with, but the the cigarettes and the black and mouth is disgusting. Um, I used to smoke. I was a former smoker as cigarettes. I smoked for t over twenty years, but I had um, I had quit in twenty fifteen. So, what am I? Eight years, mm -hmm. not smoking, and I just I don't want to kiss them. <laughs> I can't. I can't kiss them. That's this a fair request. It's All disgusting. Right. So no smokers. <laughs> what else, honey? Um, inconsistency. I need you to be consistent. Um, I don't like the inconsideration. I want you to be considerate. Um, I don't like the insecurities because um, my last relationship, he was very inconsiderate and uh, no, insecure and uh, very jealous. So what? I, I don't. Want to deal with that? Okay. All right. Does he have to look a certain way? Well, Kendra, I know you begin on people. 
Say what you want. <laughs> I I am very attracted to the average, the tall chocolate man. That's not but, average. That's the but that's that's not average. That's exceptional. Yes, but no, I'm very open. I'm very open. I just don't. I'm I'm about five four, so I just don't want them like my height. So I mean, can he's he, taller he than five, me. Can you can he be five ten? Oh yeah, five ten is great. Five ten is great. Um, I do like chocolate, but I've always been open to the light skin. It's just that they always sensitive. There we go, man. Trying to let her rock and see what she's saying. All right. I, I don't see nothing, but I see the nug nug back signal other than oh, that. Oh, strong as the day is long. But here you go. The color she got on my light skin brothers. She said, I try the light skin brothers, but they sensitive. Come on, don't let it talk bad about y'all. Come on, come on, my my lighter complexion melanated brother stand. Up. Don't let bone cushion be yellow. Uh -huh. So here we go. Let's see what she's. Let's see the Kendra cam right now. Oh. See what I'm saying? Oh. It's oh. obvious what we see, but a lot. Here we go. This is headshot shorty. So there you go. We just want to see her take a step back. That's all. All right. Ain't about to fool nobody. She got. She go. got the gout in the ankles. Come on. Let's, let's see. So I don't. I don't like sensitive men. So. I need them to be a uh, leader or, you know, very, I like a little aggressive. I don't like nobody sensitive. Nobody sensitive. Okay. Um, what about money? Does he got to make a certain amount of money? He has to be able to take care of himself. So, um, honestly, no, he just has to be able to take care of himself. Um, he has to, be able to have his own um and that's basically it he can be able to take care of himself and have his own and then he can go out on date i treat e treat you know it's good for me you treat good for you okay so it's tanisha let's do the kendra cam okay <laughs> i have a see you period are you in pajamas Okay. Am I in camera? Okay. But get get to the camera. There you go. There okay. Because I was like, I didn't know if I was in the camera. No, you're but in the yeah, camera. I have on my pajamas because I just came home from work and just was un unwinding. Right. Okay. I'm about to keep it a bean. Pajamas? Like, Man, that right. thing, that looks like a big old bed sheet. I ain't going to hold y'all. Listen here. Come on now. We, we, she up here. She done broke out the her own personally uh revised version of the Dead Sea Scrolls. All right, as far as what she wanted to man, all her all her terroristic demands, just so she could back up and present this via the Kendrick camp. Lady, you don't even understand. You are the badly treated out of state side piece. Be a big daddy truck driver at absolute best. All right. How about that? How about there we that? go. I, she about to get into a story, apparently. Let's see what we got. What y'all see in the chat? Where my man Chubby at? Can she fit in the AMG? All right. I'm sure. Like we said, got nice air shots yeah. and stuff. You ain't using it for its capabilities. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Here we go, man. Hit the like button. Let's see. I think she about to say something wild. I don't know. Get, get into the camera. There you go. There okay. Because I was like, I didn't know if I was in the camera. No, you're but in the yeah, camera. I have on my pajamas because I just came home from work and just was un unwinding. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, Tanisha, when was your last relationship? It was 2021. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask when's the last time you was intimate with someone. About a month ago. Okay. What? That, option? that was my ex. Your ex? Oh, did that break up a month ago? No. No, that was the one in 2021. That was the one for what? 2021. Oh, yeah, I still have sex every now and then. 
So I you went from girlfriend to friend with benefits? No, no. Um, we she actually didn't speak belongs for to over a year, actually. Him. Um, we just started back speaking. Were you guys in a committed relationship? We were. Why'd y'all break up? Uh, we broke up because... So he accused me of cheating. Stop the cap. That wasn't even the case. So when we Stop just the started cap. back speaking, maybe it was about two months ago. We just started back speaking. So did you so did you want to end the relationship or did he want to end the relationship? No. He gave he gave me an excuse to end it. So why'd you sleep he with him? Me of cheating. So why'd you let so why so if he ended it, why you sleep with him a year and a half later without being his girlfriend? Because I missed him. This is why I miss him. I miss him. And um, no, he came. We was at a mutual friend's. Are we party. doing this? Are we doing this? Go. this Are is we wild. doing this? Why Did you he... just told that fantastic ass lie? And hair. <laughs> huh. You know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Up here on Single by Choices, we must try very, very hard to find silver lining. Silver lining with her, you know, get ready to serve a black pill to somebody be her ex. At least she telling the truth. All right. She actually described one of the worst case scenarios for us getting a black pill. Picture it. She said, I was at a friend's house. It just so happens that said friend was mutual friends with my baby daddy, my ex, whoever had, my ex. And we was in there and our our son, oh god dang. Our song came on the radio, you know, that juvenile, you know, came on, that Boosie came on, and I couldn't help it. You know, she told Kendra, that, that, she, she told Kendra they broke up in 2021. All right. Now she's talking about what they were just intimate less than three, four weeks ago. So now Kendra, about, like, what's going on then? You don't understand? Like, how he's still out here glazing buns. But y'all ain't together for two years. And she about to try to explain some modern woman who do, as they always do. I huh. want to hear her explain this. This worst. My goodness. See that? That's why we tell Mr. 40 hours don't deal with goofy highness like this. Because she's gonna serve that black pill up to you, dog. She's gonna be like, what you say, original uh, copper American son, it was really dark, and I was drunk. And I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Now, 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 leave it alone. Stop talking about it. I'll poke you in your forehead. <laughs> uh, straight like that. So, here we go. And it'll take over your mind. <laughs> this is the... So that's what happened. This is what I'm going to tell y'all. This is heaven for him. He once had to honor you with rules. Now there ain't no rules and he can have sex with you and you can't even say nothing. He could show up, he could go on a date or whatever. I mean, I don't know, you tell me this. Can you go on a date with him and his new girlfriend and not feel no type of way? Absolutely not. No, that's then, not then, the case. Then, then you that's not yourself. the case. Then, then that's you not the case. Yourself. Let me say but this. I was, what I was Let trying to say. say. You can only be friends. Let me tell you this. You can only be friends with your ex. If you could go out to dinner with him and his new girlfriend, then y'all could be friends. But if you know in your soul you cannot sit at no dinner table with him and his new girl, then you are giving him the, the best of both worlds. So now you're not even a girlfriend, but he can still have sex. No, with he doesn't have a new girlfriend. He could get I didn't say that. Stuff with, but he, okay, but he can still sleep with other women. And he can't can get listen. a girlfriend. He can't get a girlfriend. No, listen. Listen, listen. hear me out. What happened was we was at a mutual friend's party. That's what happened. We was at a mutual friend's party. That was the first time we spoke or whatever. And he's like pouring his heart out and telling me he gave an excuse to get out of the relationship because he just wasn't ready to settle down. That's what his thing was. He wasn't Stop ready. the cap. He had, before me, he had just got out of something. So it was like he felt like I was putting the pressure on him to, you know, have be in a relationship with me or whatever, whatever, which we were in a relationship. And then we was talking about moving in together and we was talking about marriage and all the other stuff. 
And then he was just trying to find his escape. So he made an excuse to get out of the relationship, which it became toxic because we got into big arguments. And I decided to leave the relationship because we're arguing too much. I don't want to keep arguing with you. And then a year and a half later, we see each other. He explained himself. And things happen. Are y'all back in a relationship? No. Would you want to be in one? No. Not with okay. him. So Not with being him. that you don't want to be in a relationship with him, then maybe this isn't that bad. But you did say you couldn't go out with him with another girl. So why would that bother you if you don't want to be in a relationship? No, I didn't say that. No, you said you wouldn't be comfortable. So you have feelings. No. I don't no. want to go out with him with no other person. <laughs> like. Okay, well, how about this? Overall, you don't want to be with him in that way anymore. No, because you know, I don't, I don't trust it. So, I don't want to okay. put myself in that trauma again. It. Here we go, y'all. This woman is forty-one years old. At some point, we just got to grow up as grown adults. Act your goddamn age, not your motherfucking shoe size. Act your age. Not your shoe size. Because I know damn well I don't none of you motherfuckers out here wear no size goddamn 21. Act your age, man. Hell. Man, it's one 41. Listen. Listen here, folk. She is, she belongs to her ex. She don't belong to the streets. She belongs forever. Always. All right, like like old Luther song, forever and always to, to ex nug nug. She can't shake him. She can't. Y'all know what happened. Y'all called it out. He in there drunk talking, all whispering in her ears, smelling like peach, Paul Mazan, and, and axe deodorant spray. And she couldn't resist. She said, she said, you want to do it like we used to down in my uncle's basement next to his summertime ribs? <laughs> woman wow so she like said she 41 she got a kid but he out the nest her son 23 or where well, our kid is 23 and now she like a free bird and she like man i'm back on the market i put you 41 you blowed out so you ain't getting your desired outcomes out here huh no. and it's over i don't know who who mr uh hoodoo dong is but he didn't got her that could have caught his compromise. I wouldn't even, whoever come in to play, the ex can give them, can administer black pill at any given time. Godspeed. We go, we're gonna get into it. The band is getting off the bus. We're gonna give her her final words, all right? Also shout out to Danny Nicole for the super chat. She says, hit the like button. We need 40 likes. So come on, likes is free. There you go. Hit get hit the like button and let's get the support of my baby. Hit that cash app. Hit the super chat. Y'all know what time it is. Please and a thank you. There we go. Make sure y'all hitting the like button. There we go. Just that was the last person I was with before we broke up. And then when we broke up, I was in a drought. <laughs> I did it. I so, know. Listen. So when we come back, when we just well. talking or whatever, that, right. that's what happened. So that was so, the situation. Tanisha, I want you to understand this. I understand, but men understand this shit too. And men understand, and that's why men feel like, okay, she mad now. So y'all went a year or whatever. Y'all wasn't talking. He ended the relationship. And he was able to come back to you a year later, pour out his heart. And still have sex with you. This is happened. Men, men have it good. And men know that women feel like you. There's a drought. You've been lonely. You know, you a good girl. So you just ain't out here with all men. And they know it. And this is why men do not feel like they got to rise to the occasion. There's not a requirement to. Trust me. I understand. I understand. I understand. And now I put myself in a vulnerable situation. You want something new? Do you want a committed relationship or that's not? Yes, I definitely want a committed relationship. Okay, she wants that. Okay, okay. So what are three flaws you think you have to work on? Okay, so um, I am a procrastinator. 
I show up late. I, I procrastinate. I wait to the last minute for everything. And I definitely need to work on that. Um, I'm impatient. So a lot of times I don't have patience, but I am working on that now. But I, I, that's a lot of things that I have to work on. And um, also, I'm stubborn. Because <laughs> I'm a tourist. <laughs> and I'm very stubborn. And, um, you know, once I make up my mind, I'm not budget. And then I don't care how many times you apologize and all other stuff. I'm not going to budge. So the guy just apologized. They got a chance to have sex with you. I, no, I said a year and a half. Not that. Stop the cap. It's not that. What is it? it not? Did take Stop the cap. Because he was apologizing way longer before. Yeah. So it took a year and a half to get you. You think he had been having a sex for a year and a half? He was still having sex. Well, I mean. Half. Look, I said I was stubborn. It take me a long time to give in, but I did give in. But what I'm saying what? to you is that year and a half when you wasn't sleeping with nobody, he still was. So he just keep you over here until you warm. So he warm you up. He gonna be he over didn't here. Keep with me the over nowhere. He able, he was able to come back to you a year and a half to have sex with you. Ooh, she triggered. We, we met at a party. I had changed my number. Everything. It don't matter. He was still able to have sex with you a year and a half later. Okay, no so partner. that was a year and a half later. Okay, well, if you if you feel like that makes but sense. But I, I mean, I mean, I felt like I was stubborn enough. I changed my whole number and everything. For, I, well, why? I, I, gave because because I gave in because... Hello? Look, what? I'm Hello? here. Or, it can be I'm my here. Phone. Yes. You gave in because... Because I'm like, my Wi-Fi is fi wi fi There we go. She sounded just like we don't have a few women up here lately, and it's the sexual liberation where they it's not it's no equality involved in this. Y'all, y'all simply can't do what men do. So you can't be like, oh yeah, he came back, but no. <sighs> y'all don't get it, it. It simply does not work like that. I keep saying that and said at least at least two or three times. Y'all can't move like men. Let that go. She got so triggered. Kendra said he just had you over here waiting. He wasn't waiting. You in the drought. He still being cheeks. Then he can't be too cheeks. She said, no, he ain't have me waiting nowhere. Changed my number. So he he probably he most likely wanted to get in contact with, with me, but he he been one of these cheeks, you see. But you know, after a year or so of seeing him at the grocery store, seeing him at the corner bodega. And him begging and pleading and pleading and begging. I finally said, you know what? Come, come on over <laughs> and glaze butter. Uh -huh. So here we go. Shout out to my guy, Project Leroy. He's seen enough, people. He done hit the good old skip button. <laughs> Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We have seen the Kendra cam. We done heard all of the red fish, blue fish we need to hear. She done trauma dumped. And uh, yeah, she belongs to her ex. <laughs> and and possibly the streets. But she definitely don't belong to what she wants. She don't belong to Mr. Dead Sea Scrolls himself. No, she do not. Here we go. She get a full tap. Because this is one final tap for her. Here we go, sister. Over. That was bad. That was pitiful. That was pitiful. You almost feel sorry for, sorry for her because she has no idea just how much she belonged to, to her crusty, dusty ex. It's over. Y'all together forever, Bonquisha. Here we go. Shout out to my guy, Project Leroy. <laughs> it's goodbye, me, ma'am. Skip. So here we go. Make sure you guys are hitting the like button.